you're going to get asked to write linear equations like 15 million times in your life. And there's different forms. There's like point slope form, which for the record, uh, that's this one. There's slope intercept form, which is probably my favorite. I don't mean to like hurt this one's feelings, but I like the other one. And then there's standard form. But again, this is point slope form. And actually, it, it is pretty useful. And the formula looks terrible. Y minus Y1 equals M, which is slope, times X minus X1. And it's really helpful if they give you, like, again, a point and the slope. So they might say something like this. They'll say, I'll write the equation of a line that has the point 2, 5, and is a slope of whatever, 6, right? Write it in point slope form. That's actually kind of easy because all you do is this. You go y minus something equals slope times x minus something. And in this case, you put in the y. So y minus the y guy, which is 5. The slope was 6. And then x minus the x value, which is 2. Literally, it's that easy. So given a point and the slope, I apologize. I do like this way. Okay. So let me give you a couple more, and you can like do them faster than me probably because they're they're pretty straightforward. So it'll be like, okay, so oh, what if it's neg? Be careful with negatives. What if it's negative two, right? Positive three, and your slope is two. Put write an equation of a line in in point slope form. Remember, it's y minus the y value. The y value is three, so y minus three equals slope, which is two, times x minus. Be careful the x value. What's x minus a negative 2? Remember, minus a negative becomes a plus 2. That is your answer. Ah, it's so easy. I love these ones. OK, uh, the only possible curveball, the only possible, because like it's so easy that your teacher is going to like try to find a way to present it as being a little more difficult just to like you know be able to tell their friends that they challenge the students. So they might say this. Find in point slope form the equation of a line that goes through the point like 4, 9 and is parallel to the other line, which is y equals like 1 half x minus, you know, who cares, 100. The b doesn't matter in this case. You're basically borrowing his slope to finish your question. So again, you have y minus the y, which is 9, equals slope times x minus the x value, which is 4. Pause. What is my slope? If I'm parallel to this random guy, I have nothing to do with his b. I don't care about that. But I'm parallel to him. That means we share the same slope. So I just take his slope, and I borrow it for my problem, and I'm totally done. Same thing if they, if they say perp2, right? perpendicular to. So they'll be like, find the equation of line in point slope form that goes through this point, but is perpendicular to this other guy, right? So like, you know, I'm just making these up on the spot. It's pretty, pretty witty of me. So then it'll be like, OK, 4x you know, plus 10. Again, I know my little formula. I learned it from Ryan. y minus my y value equals slope times x minus my x value. But what's my slope in this case? Remember, I have nothing to do with this line as far as the y-intercept. I don't care about that. But I do have a, I'm similar to it with regards to my slope. And any two lines that are perpendicular, remember their slopes are negative reciprocals of one another, OK? So if this is 1 fourth, I flip it, and I make it negative. The flip of 1 fourth is 4. Making it negative, my slope is negative 4. Because I'm perp to him, I took his slope, and I fixed it to be mine, which is negative reciprocal. So that's totally it. That's how you write equations of lines in point slope form. I do regret my earlier negative comments about this form. It's pretty cool if you know the slope and a point. And that's it. And remember, if you're having a hard time at your local high school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School, pass it there, and the credits will be transferred back to you.